Hi everyone, hope you are doing well and welcome back to my channel Random with Ravina. Today's video is going to be super informative. So, I moved to Dubai 2 months back and I've gotten so many messages from my friends and family on how expensive is Dubai, what is the cost of living in Dubai. So, I thought why not make a video around it. So, when I was planning to come to Dubai, I was looking for these kind of videos on internet and I feel I couldn't find anything that was up to date. So, I wanted to make one. So in today's video, we are going to cover everything from, you know, accommodation, transportation, food, fitness, all these areas. So these are the expenses that you have to incur if you're planning to move to Dubai. These are not leisure expenses that you can delay. These are expenses that you will incur. I'm planning to make more videos around the same topic on, you know, how you can get a job in Dubai. What is the normal salary in Dubai, especially for finance people. So that you have an idea, this is how much you earn, this is your expenses. This is how much you would be saving so that if you are planning to come to Dubai, I think these videos will be helpful for you. So I'm planning to make like a series of it. So in today's video, we are going to talk about what is the cost of living in Dubai. So basically all these expenses are divided between my husband and I. So all these expenses are incurred by two people. So please do keep it in mind. I have my notes in here, so I'll be looking down at my iPad. So the first and largest expense is accommodation. So first rent. Obviously, the rent will differ from area to area. So we live in Barsha. It's a it's a good locality. It's a very lively locality as well. So if you go out, you see people around it. It's very lively all the time. And this is what we wanted. We looked for other areas that were little outskirts like Sports City or Discovery Gardens. But we did not like the locality because we stayed in Mumbai for a couple of years and we wanted to have a lively community around us. So I think this area was perfect for us. Plus the location is also very good, our offices are nearby, so we preferred this area. We looked for around 10 flats in this area and this is the flat that we finalized. It's a 1 BHK, it's 820 square feet, so it's a pretty good 1 BHK. Let me know in comments if you want a house tour, I'll be happy to make one for you. We have an annual contract for this house, so annually it's 55,000 and monthly we pay 4,700. So all the houses in Dubai have central air conditioning, it's called chiller. So some houses would be chiller free, somewhere you have to pay for the chiller extra. In our house, the chiller is free. So we save around 300 there as well. Then come electricity and water. We pay around 550 for that. Next expenses is uh, very subjective. You can skip it if you want, but we have a house help. She comes in morning and in evening and she does everything from cooking, cleaning, laundry. And we are very lucky to have her. It makes our life very easy. We pay her 1000 dirhams monthly. Then Wi-Fi and phone. So it was a huge cultural shock for me because we have Jio in India and the Wi-Fi rates are very cheap. And when I heard the Wi-Fi rates here, I was actually shocked. So basically, we have an annual contract for both Wi-Fi and phone and that's why the rates are a little cheap. Otherwise, it would be even expensive. So for Wi-Fi, we pay 330 dirhams for monthly basis. And for phone, we pay 150 dirham for both of us for a monthly basis. I know it's quite expensive, but these are the best rates that you can get here. Then lastly, gas pipeline, we pay 50 dirhams for that. So the total would be around 6,780 dirhams for the two of us for accommodation. Then comes the transportation part. So it is a mix of metro, buses and taxi. I think so the problem with Dubai is it's very hot. So you cannot even walk for 500 meters. You have to take taxi for everything. And I prefer taxis uh, if I have to go for work. So I pay around 1000 dirhams for taxi on a monthly basis. Plus on weekends and everything you have to get a taxi as well. So that will be extra. So approximately 1200 is what we pay for taxi on a monthly basis. People who are living here for a long time, they prefer car over public transport and I understand why. The transport time also reduces significantly. It's very convenient as well. I'm also planning to get a car very soon so that I can manage this expense. Then the next comes groceries. We pay 2000 on a monthly basis for groceries. Plus on weekends, if you want to order in, that will be around another 200. So 2200 is what we normally spend on groceries on a monthly basis. Then comes the next expenses that is fitness. So we do have a gym and a swimming pool in our society, but the gym is very small. They don't have all the equipments over there. So we ended up taking a membership outside. So on the normal, for a basic gym, you would be paying something around 300 or 350 dirhams. 
but for a decent one you would be paying around 500 which is what i pay i have an annual subscription and monthly i pay 500 for dj so these are all the basic expenses that you would incur if you're planning to move to dubai so total we pay around 10700 and divided by two it would be around 5400 for one person i hope this video was helpful please subscribe to my channel i'll see you the next time till then bye Thank you.